Here on my shelf, I have Spice and Wolf, the Anniversary Collector's Edition, um, numbered, number 320 or 30 something. Um, FLCL, the light novel, volume 3. And No Longer Human, volume 3. All three of these are very different series. They don't really have much in common. However, they all share a very similar trait. And that trait is that, uh, is that it's very difficult to price these. Um, if, you, if you check eBay or Amazon, um, preferably eBay, search in any of these, um, go over to the sold listings, and just kind of look through them. Um, for some of these, you're going to have like one or two results. For others, like Spice and Wolf, you'll have a bunch more. Um, if you were to go and search for the Spice and Wolf Anniversary Collector's Edition on eBay, you'll find a bunch of sold listings for anywhere between like 125 to around $250. If you investigate further and look inside those, um, those listings, you'll find that the vast majority of them are the second print. Um, the difference is that inside the first print there is da, 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 da. somewhere in here, holy shit. Inside the first print, sorry, it's, it's kind of unwieldy. There's a number, and if you have an even lower print, you'll have a signature from Isuna Has ha ha uh, Hasekura. Um, I don't have that one, but at, besides the point. The point is that if you were to go on eBay and search for those right now, you're not really going to find a whole lot to go by. Um, you know, I think I saw one listing for 250 that sold, but that's... There's another one I went for like a lot more, like over double. If you look on Amazon, there's only a single one, and it's like 800 bucks. Um, for FLCL Novel 3, you'll find the same on Amazon, an absurdly expensive price, of which there's only a single in stock. Um, on eBay, you'll actually find that some idiot sold his for $3. Probably with free shipping, too. Uh, but that's actually the only one that sold, and the, the only one that was on the market, period. Um, no Longer Human Volume 3 you'll find sold for standalone $100, and then there were two listings that had all three. Uh, all three for between like 150 and 200 bucks. Um, basically the point is, when it comes to figuring out how much something like this is worth, um, by something like this, I mean, something that's so rare or so infrequently on the market that you can't really pinpoint down a, a normal price. With most manga, um, I'll pull something that's like out of print but not rare, like Battle Royale. With most manga like that, you can just go on eBay, search for Battle Royale, find a bunch of different volumes that sell between like $5 and $15 and be like, all right, you know, I need Battle Royale volume 10 most volumes sold for around 10 bucks, so I think it's worth about 10 bucks, so that's what I'll try and get it for. If you try and do that for one of these three, you're not going to get um, a number that represents a value of similar weight. Um, and so what it kind of comes down to is how much am I willing to pay for it? Something like FLCL. Um, normally I don't talk about how much I paid, but um, FLCL, I think I paid 70 bucks for this. Um, now some would say, whoa, holy shit, that's a lot. And it is. Um, if I pull out volumes one and two, I have one and two right here. I paid like five bucks each for these. So why did I pay $70 for volume three? Um, well, the reason is with something that you're never really going to have a second chance to find, you kind of have to just bite the bullet and pay more than you may even think it's worth. Do I think this is worth $70? Um, yeah, I, I do actually. 
Um, but even if I didn't, I still think I would have paid the $70. Because the chance of encountering it again is rare enough that I'm willing to pay more in order to ensure that I get it. Um, no longer Human Volume 3. I paid... I bought a lot that had Volume 1 and 2 and 3. Um, I paid like $120 for just these three volumes of manga. I already have these two. In fact, I have... Um, I already have this, and I already have spares of this. This is like my fourth copy of Volume 2. I have... Let me see if I can find the other one. No longer human. Um, LMNOP. Shit. Here we go. I have four copies of this stupid volume. But I bought it solely for the reason of picking this up. And it's worth it because the chances of me finding this are slim enough that I'm willing to bite the bullet and buy more of this stupid volume than I need. And, it, I mean, it, it might, it, I mean, it sucks. It does. Um, you know, at the end of the day, volume one and two, they're really not worth that much. You know, retail on these is, is 11 bucks. If I were to try and sell them, you know, I'd be getting like 15 bucks each for these. So it's like 30 bucks for these two volumes. That leaves me with paying about 90 to like 80 to 90 bucks on this volume alone. Do I think it's worth 80 bucks? No, I don't. I think it's probably worth like 40, 50 dollars. Um, but, you know, it's so hard to find. People don't really have it on the secondhand market. You're not going to find it in a secondhand store. Um, it's on eBay so infrequently. On Amazon, it's just some absurd price that you're never going to want to pay because Amazon is ass for pricing manga. Um, I, I bit the bullet. I paid much more than it was worth, but now I have it. Um, obviously, you don't want to be doing this for stuff that you don't actually want. Um, you know, I'm not saying that it's worth it to, whenever you see an out-of-print rare manga, to just buy it no matter what, what the price is because um, that's stupid. You don't want to do that. But if it's something, something that you actually want, like in my case, uh, No Longer Human Volume 3, or for me it was this one. I, I really wanted this. Um, you have to do it. You have to just bite the bullet, do it, because the chance of you not finding it again is good enough that I don't want to risk it. Um, Spice and Wolf, I got lucky. I bought this retail, um, like 125 bucks. If I were to sell it, which I never would, I wouldn't take less than $500 for it. That's how much I think it's worth. Um, the guy it sold over two fifty. He could have gotten a lot more for it. He had the he had the autograph of the author. He sold like two fifty for it. He sold it for double that he paid. So to some, it's like sweet, yeah, I made money, but it's worth a lot more than that. Um, so basically, TLDR: How much is how much is my rare obscure manga worth, or how much is some obscure manga worth that I don't have? It's worth what you're willing to pay for it. And what you're, what the seller's willing to sell for it. If somebody has volume three of FLCL and you want it, and they want two hundred for it, um, sorry, but it's worth two hundred. It's just kind of how it is. Um, if you disagree with the value of it, well, then tough shit. You're not going to buy it. Um, it's unfortunate, but that's how pricing goes for kind of obscure stuff like that. Um, so. You know, that being said, you're going to have to be willing to, if you want to collect rare stuff, anybody can collect, you know, Blade of the Immortal reprints. Anybody can pick up Poon Poon. Anybody can pick up Sakamoto or whatever. You know, that's all stuff you can just go to your local Barnes & Noble, pick up retail. That stuff's not hard to find. The stuff that's hard to find... It's kind of where the real fun comes in for collecting. Um, and you have to be willing to take some risks. And you have to be willing to, um, you know, sometimes undercut or overshoot the value of things in order to ensure that, that you get what you want. So, 
I feel for your wallets. It hurts. My wallet hurts too. But Godspeed.